is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Ride ride. How you feeling, baby? You feeling good? Ready for uh, a lot of uh, pork this weekend? A lot of reporting this weekend? Pork. Pork. Oh, pork. yeah, pork. Pork, for sure. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for Noche Buena. There's no question. Okay. All right. How about uh, you? Yeah, I, I've actually I've lost weight. I'm in this uh, whole fasting thing. You know, yeah. I, I don't know if you can tell in my face. I have less rat yeah. now. You know what I mean? No, so, no, it looks good. You're looking good, brother. Yeah, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. You, you know, it's a, it's a war we've waged forever, bro. You know how it is. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of fasting. So that I'm just waiting for that one that one night where I do have to, uh, you know, you got to unleash the kraken. Yeah. You know, uh, you know I, I can't stop now. When you when you bring out the pork <laughs> and the and the rice and the beans and the maludos and you know. I yeah. will, I will treat myself and then probably starve for 24 hours after that. But uh, yeah, dude, I'm I'm looking forward to it. All right, so uh, the one hell of a class, right? I mean, kind of what yeah. we expected from Mario Cristobal that he would be a monster recruiter, and that's exactly what's happened. Yeah, I mean, for them to finish with a top five recruiting class after having a top ten class a year ago, it's uh, really it's really what he was brought in to do was to, to raise the level of of talent in, in the building and i know a lot of people for years were like oh my miami's still recruiting great you know they have all these top 20 classes it's there's a difference though between being a top five recruiting class and a top 15 recruiting class just depth the number of first round picks you get in those classes. i mean i think i threw this stat in my story the other day but since 2008 since the, the, the miami hurricane streak ended there's only been six first round picks out of the university and they had 43 from 1983 to 2008 so you know, it's a it's a different caliber of player, certainly, that's been at Miami. And I think, yes, his coaching has to improve, but so does the level of talent. If you're going to compete with Alabama and Georgia, you got to recruit like Alabama and Georgia. Yeah, but you also got to take a knee when you need to take a knee. Oh, okay? a, a, a thousand percent, brother. A thousand percent. You got to do everything as far as coaching and development to uh, to get the program to where it needs to be. But because, yeah, you know, it's just like I, I'm. I, while I love to hear that they had a great recruiting class, I'm not really shocked because Mario Cristobal has been a top recruiter since he was at Alabama, bro. So this is nothing new to me that this guy can find and unearth talent. And, yep. you know, now quarterback wise, what's the deal? Well, I think it's basically coming down to negotiating with Cam Ward and whether or not he's deciding to go pro or to make probably $1.5 million or more for one season at Miami. I think that's basically what we've come down to. I think in the event that, that Ward decides he wants to go pro, then you're going to look at some other options. There's some other guys that are available. K.J. Jefferson is one of them, the starter at Arkansas. I think, I think Will Howard hasn't made a decision yet either as far as USC is concerned, if I'm not mistaken. So those guys are still available, and I think that's plan B, plan C, and – you go from there. Cam doesn't talk. Uh, do, do we know what he's uh, thinking? Cam, Cam, Cam doesn't talk. His dad does a lot of talking. Max Olson, who works with me at the Athletics, spoke to his dad earlier this week. And basically the lay of the land was that, that by the end of the week, we might have a decision here from Cam whether or not he wants to uh, stay in college. I think the family wants him to go pro. Uh, but, you know, it's a matter of, of what he likes. And if you're going to make $1.5 or something similar to that for one year at Miami, that's – they're definitely more than you would for, you know, fourth or fifth round pick in the NFL, right? What would you make as a fourth or fifth round pick? Oh, a lot less. A yeah. lot less. You're going to make 400000 or some shit like that. Right. Like a fourth round pick or something like that. And you're going to make way more. Plus, you'll probably add on top of the 1.5. And especially if you start having success, other sponsors will want to piggyback on. And you're making two mil easy before it's all said and done. But, yeah. But it, is there any hardship we know in the family? Is that why they're no, they're, no? I, I don't. I, I mean, listen. He make any sense to stay one year compared to a fourth or fifth round pick? A fourth or fifth round pick isn't going to get the light of day in the NFL. So you're right. better off. Or I know you're starting on your second contract and all that, but still, dude, one point five million is a lot of money. It's a lot of cheese. There's no question. And I think most people would, would, would say stay in college. But again, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the thinking behind their process and what and what they believe and what they know and what NFL teams have told them. Who knows what NFL teams have said to them? Okay. 
All right. So, and what's what's the what's the cutoff date? What do we know? I think they have until when is the portal? Well, once you're in, and he's a grad transfer anyway, it doesn't matter. You know, he could take as long as he wants. I think obviously Mario and company would like to like done it. soon. But. Right. Right. All right. Is is there anything tied to this? Like, is is there another uh, player that they're waiting on that that player is waiting on Cam and maybe they'll get an extra running back receiver lineman or something like that? I don't think so. His uh, his teammate at Washington State are. Whoop. Hold on. He'll come back. There we go. His teammate. At... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, not yet. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't you love live? Live is so fun. Okay, now we can bring him up. Okay. Now we're his, good. His yes, now good. His teammate at Washington State. Go. His his uh, top receiver, I think, is transferred to Texas Tech, if I'm not mistaken. So I, I think it's already done, you know, as far as, like, any any guys maybe that he wanted with him. So I don't think it's necessarily waiting for anybody else. Okay. Is there, besides the, the Will guy, is there another, is there a plan C have you heard of? Uh, yeah, K.J. Jefferson, I think, is plan C, the, uh, the former Arkansas starting quarterback. I think he's basically the third option look a lot of schools have already loaded up on quarterback the ones that yeah. needed them so the market has sort of slowed down a little bit right like you could you, i don't want to say you can be picky and choosy but certainly uh if some of the top jobs are already taken you know and i think those guys look at the university of miami in high regard right like i can go there be the starting quarterback at um for a good team i i would prefer that so i think it's sort of waiting for the dominoes to fall and i think cam is that first one Okay. All right. What are you working on the athletics so folks can check you out, my friend? Well, we just we had a ton of stuff. Uh, we had a podcast where we covered a ton of recruiting topics, the Until Saturday podcast. If people want to check that out, it's me, Ari Wasserman, Grace Rayner. I just wrote a big story on Jeremiah Smith. I know there was a delay in his signing. I was with him for basically a uh, 24-hour span and talking to the family, talking to people around him about the whole situation. He ultimately picked Ohio State. Uh, so I have a, a long read on that. Uh, I have a column on Miami, you know, and the fact that they still need a quarterback talking about the recruiting class. So there's a ton to read on the website. There'll be more. Uh, you know, it, it never ends. I'll be going up to the Under Armour uh, All-American game next week, covering the Orange Bowl, be around FSU, FSU and the whole ACC thing. So there's tons of stuff to read at The Athletic. No shot they really get out, right? Because that whole thing, 570 I mean, yeah, I don't know if the Saudis are going to help cover the uh, – if they're going to team up with the Saudis to help cover some of these expenses to get out of the ACC. But where the, the bigger question is where they're going to go, oh, and, and and everything I've heard from the get-go from Jump Street was the Big Ten wouldn't take them and neither is the SEC. So if you're not going to one of those two conferences, where are you going? You're going to go to the Big 12? Right. That's yeah, that's like staying in the ACC. Yeah, that's not that doesn't make any sense. Right. Yeah, you're right about that. So I, I just – and I don't know why the Big Ten or the SEC would take them. Florida – Florida and South Carolina would be pissed if they took Miami and uh, if they took Florida State and Clemson. Uh, so I, I just think those two conferences are content. They've got great TV contracts. There's no reason to, to throw a helping hand Florida State's way. Crazy stuff. All right, follow him on Twitter at Manny underscore Navarro. Manny, have a great Christmas. Enjoy the food. My brother, we'll catch up next week. All right, brother. You too. Take care. Thank you, sir. Don't forget Canesware. If you go online... You use our code Big O10, you will get 10% off. If you order over $99, you will get free shipping. They've got all kinds of great hats. So go check it out at caneswear.com. And if you go personally, use our code Big O10 and you will get 10% off. Okay. So caneswear.com, anything and everything with the Canes logo. They got stuff with Dolphins logos, Panthers, Marlins, Heat, Inter Miami. They don't have a Luis Suarez jersey yet, but it's coming now that he is officially signed with Inter Miami. Caneswear.com. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.